Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more Black Adder. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Really enjoyed the last episode, man, and I really appreciate you guys giving me so much information on the video. And one of the things you guys said was, did I recognize Hugh Laurie? I believe I'm saying his name right. Because he was in um, the show House. I knew he looked familiar, but I've never watched House. So I knew it could have been from there. And I had to look it up like, what do I remember seeing this guy at? It was, he was a dad in Stuart Little. So like, it's crazy. It's the only thing I've ever watched him in was uh, Stuart Little. When I was like maybe 14 or 15. That movie. But yeah, I know he looked familiar, because when I watched that other the clip on YouTube, I was like, he looks familiar. But yeah, so it wasn't from House. i never seen House. I don't know if it's a good show. It has to be. It's been going on for like a while now, right? Or is it over now? I don't know. But I know I've heard about House and stuff, but I never really got into like, you know, medical dramas or drama shows in general. It just never been my thing. So, but yeah, yeah, that's it. So let's go and jump into this, man. We'll talk about more in the end. Oh, 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 Black Adam! Black Adam! Your Highness. What, what, what time is it? Three o'clock in the afternoon, Your Highness. Oh, God bless God for that. I thought I'd overslept. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you had a pleasant evening, sir. Well, no, actually. The most extraordinary thing happened. Last night, I was having a bit of a snack at the Naughty Hellfire Club, and some fellow said that I had the wit and sophistication of a donkey. Oh, an absurd suggestion, sir. You're right, it is absurd. Unless, of course, it was a particularly stupid donkey. <laughs> That globulous fraud, Dr. Johnson, is coming to tea. I thought he was the cleverest man in England. Ulrich, I'd bump into cleverer people at a lodge meeting of the Guild of Village Idiots. <laughs> That's not what you said when you sent him your navel. Novel, Baldrick, not the navel. <laughs> I sent him my novel. Well, oh, shit. novel or navel, it sounds a bit like a bag of grapefruits to me. <laughs> my magnum opus, Baldrick. Everybody has one novel in them, and this is mine. And this is mine. <laughs> My magnificent octopus. This is your novel, Borick. Yeah, I can't stand long books. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a lovely little sausage called Borick. <laughs> and it lived happily ever after. <laughs> it's semi-autobiographical. And it's completely, utterly awful. <laughs> Dr. Johnson will probably love it. <laughs> nope, didn't catch any of that. <laughs> well, I simply observed, sir, that I'm felicitous. Since during the course of the penultimate solar sojourn, I terminated my uninterrupted categorization of the vocabulary of our post, Norman Tang. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, it sounds damn saucy, you lucky thing. I know some fairly liberal minded about? girls, but I've never penultimated any of them in that solar sojourn. For that matter, been given any Norman Tang. Contrafibularities. <laughs> what? Contrafibularities, sir? It is a common word down our way. Damn. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir. Choose to have caused you such pericombobulation. <laughs> what do you want about that? Just make this shit up. Sound a bit like Dago talked to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I merely wished to congratulate the doctor on not having left out a single word. Shall I fetch the tea, Your Highness? Yes, yes. And, and get that damn fire up here, will you? Certainly, sir. I shall return interfrastically. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dr. Johnson, He's such a sit dick. you down. Now, this book of yours. Tell me, what's it all about? Perhaps you would rather not be patron of my book if you can see no value in it whatsoever, sir. Well, perhaps so, sir. As it sounds to me as if my being patron of this complete cowpat of a book will set the seal once and for all on my reputation as an utter turnip head. <laughs> well, it is a reputation well deserved, sir. Farewell. Leaving already, Doctor. <laughs> Not staying for your appendagestatory interlude. <laughs> no, sir, shut me. <laughs> sir, sir. Anything I can do to facilitate your velocitous extramuralization. <laughs> nice fire, boy. Thank you, Mr. B. Right, let's get the book. Now, Baldrick, where's the manuscript? You mean the big papery thing tied up with string? Yes, Baldrick, the manuscript belonging to Dr. Johnson. You mean the baity fellow in the black coat who just left? Yes, Baldrick, Dr. Johnson. So you're asking fire. where the big papery thing tied up with string <laughs> belonging to the baity fellow in the black coat who just left is? And if you don't answer, then the booted bony thing with five toes on the end of my leg <laughs> will soon connect sharply with a soft, dangly collection of objects in your... <laughs> the last time, Baldrick, where is Dr. Johnson's manuscript? 
on the fire. Oh, shit. What the, what? the hot orangey thing under the stone. <laughs> <laughs> you burnt the dictionary. Oh, he yeah. will beat his ass. <laughs> you burnt the life's work of England's foremost man of letters. Well, you did say burn Damn. any old rubbish. <laughs> You'll murder him. We are going to go to Mrs. Miggins. We're going to find out where Dr. Johnson keeps a copy of that dictionary, and then you are going to steal it. Me? Yes, you. Why me? Because you burnt it, Bulric. But then I'll go to hell forever for stealing. Bulric, oh my God. believe me, <laughs> eternity in the company of Beelzebub and all his hellish instruments of death will be a picnic compared to five minutes with me and this pencil. <laughs> if we can't replace this dictionary. <laughs> Next to see that oh, no. Mrs. Miggins. Will thou bring me but one cup of the brownie juicing? It's brilliant. You take the string, that's still not completely burnt. You scrape off the soot and you shove the pages in again. Which pages? Well, not the same ones, of course. Yes, I think I'm on the point of spotting the flaw in this plan. <laughs> Well, do go on. Which page is other? Well, this is the brilliant bit. Shit. You write some new ones. Some new ones. You mean rewrite the dictionary. <laughs> I sit down tonight and rewrite the dictionary that took Dr. Johnson ten years. Yep. Next, A. A, B. Um, um, a, B. One. Well, it's a buzzing thing, isn't it? <laughs> a buzzing thing. <laughs> or, I mean, something that starts with A, B. Honey? Honey starts with A-B. <laughs> He's right, you know, Blackadder. Honey does start with a B. And a flower. Oh, shit. Yes, look, this really isn't getting anywhere. And besides, I've left out Aardvark. Oh, well, can't say we didn't give it a try. No, Your Highness, it was a brave stab. But I fear I must proceed on my own. Now, Baldrick, go to the kitchen and make me something quick and simple to eat, would you? Two slices of bread with something in between. What, like Gerald Lord Sandwich had the other day? Yes, a few rounds of Gerald's. <laughs> I had a bit of trouble with belching, but I think I got it sorted out in the end. <coughs> oh no! There I go again! <laughs> you've, been, you've been working on that joke for some time, haven't you? Well, yes, I have, as a matter of fact, yes. Since you started. Right? Basically. So, in fact, you haven't done any work at all? Not as such. No. <laughs> Great. Right, let's have it then. Right. Big blue wobbly thing that mermaids live in. <laughs> oh my god, dude. See. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tiny misunderstanding, still. <laughs> my hopes weren't high. Oh, and what about D? I'm quite pleased with dog. Yes, and your definition of dog is? Not a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Time to wake up. What time is it? Monday morning. Monday morning? Oh my god, I've overslept. Where's the quill? Where's the parchment? I don't know. Maybe Dr. Johnson's got some with him. What? He's outside. Ow! Oh! Are you ill, sir? No, you can't have it. I know I said Monday, but I want Baldrick to read it, which unfortunately will mean teaching him to read. <laughs> which will take about ten years. But time well spent, I think, because it's such a very good dictionary. I don't think so. Oh god, we've been burgled! <laughs> what? I think it's an awful dictionary full of feeble definitions and ridiculous verbiage. I've come to ask you to chuck that damn thing in the fire. Are you sure? I've never been more sure of anything in my life, sir. I love you, Dr. Johnson, and I want to have your babies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, Dr. Johnson, but my Auntie Marjorie's just arrived. Bloomers, bottom, burp, Fart, fiddle, fornicate? Well, Sir, I hope you are not using the first English dictionary to look up rude words. I wouldn't be too hopeful. That's what all the other ones will be used for. <laughs> Sir, can I look up turnip? Turnip isn't a rude word, Baldrick. It is if you sit on one. Really, <laughs> sir, do we have more important business in hand? I refer, so of course, gross. to the wax of the mysterious Gertrude Perkins. Mysterious? No more, sir. Me, sir, is me, sir. I am Gertrude Pleck. Good Lord! And what's more, I can prove it. Bring out the manuscript, and I will show you that my signature corresponds exactly with that on the front. Why, I must have left it here when I left the dictionary. This is terribly exciting. Oh, oh shit. Fetch my novel. Your novel? 
Yes, Baldrick, the big papery thing tied up with string. What? Like the thing we burnt? Oh, God, no! <laughs> Thank you, sir. Burned, you say? That's most inconvenient. A burned novel is like a burned dog. Oh, you shut up! <laughs> sir, I have a novel. Once upon a time, there was a lovely little sausage called... Sausage? Sausage! Blast your eyes! Oh. Well, I didn't think it was that bad. Oh, he forgot sausage in the book? I think you'll find he left sausage out of his diction. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And aardvark. Oh, come on, Blackadder, it's not all that bad. Nothing a nice roaring fire can't solve. Uh, Baldrick, do the honours, will you? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's so stupid. <laughs> I didn't learn jack squats. Ah, oh, that was a good episode, man. That was really funny. <laughs> you gotta say my favorite part was when he was making up words just to, like, irritate the dude. I like that. That was that was fantastic. And when he threatened um, Baldrick with the pencil. That was fantastic as well. Baldrick, his story about being a little sausage. <laughs> that was funny to me. I don't know why. It's just so stupid. That goofy little story. That's it, man. That is all for this one. Um, hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.